Number two. Brianna Ege is a two-time Webheads champion. The last two slots on here are going to the last two spots on my top 13 favorite Nickelodeon TV movies list, starting with my number two spot, Santa Hunters, starring Benjamin Flores Jr. and Brianna Ege. As you can tell, this is what Brianna Ege looks like now. She's older than her Haunted Hathaways, Santa Hunters, School of Rock, Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library, and Malibu Rescue Days. In 2014, I saw Santa Hunters online, and I had a lot of fun with it, watching the kids do what they do to try to prove that Santa is real. But one thing I forgot to say was, on the same year that Santa Hunters aired on TV, a short-lived Nickelodeon game show called Webheads premiered, and Brianna did what this guy did. True Jackson VP's Matt Shively became a two-time Brain Search champion, and to this day, he remains the only two-time champion in Brain Search history. Both times, he was successful in Level 3 of the final stage. The first time around, he was so successful that he didn't make a single mistake. He was perfect the first time around. The second time around, he made a few mistakes, but those didn't hurt him. He still won, and he got signed both times. On Webheads, Brianna became a two-time champion by beating Santa Hunter's co-star Benjamin Flores Jr. the first time around, and the second time around, she beat Haunted Hathaway's co-star Amber Montana. But unlike Matt Shively, Brianna was unsuccessful in the spinning wheel of doom both times. The first time around, she got it. She beat the spinning wheel of doom the first time, but couldn't do it the second time. So at least she and a lucky eligible audience member got signed the first time. And on her first appearance on Webheads, here's something that I learned about Brianna on June 25th, 2014, which was the same day that I bought This Is America, Charlie Brown, The Building of the Transcontinental Railroad on VHS. And that's my favorite This is America, Charlie Brown VHS or episode of that miniseries. Here's what I learned. All right. Brianna, talk to me. Where are you from? Well, the Great Down Under, Australia. Australia, Aust really? Yeah. But you have no accent. I've been having heaps of fun on the show today. <laughs> All right, so tell me something else in your awesome accent. Um, what do you do for fun on the weekends? Uh, I usually go play some tennis, a little bit of golf. Really? Yeah. No, no, still do the accent. It's funny. It's kind of cool. Okay. 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 Yeah. Alrighty, guys, make some noise for Brianna. Come on. Yeah. On that day, I learned that Brianna Edie was born in Australia. And it was hard for me to notice that because she speaks well, before this I saw her on I saw her on the Haunted Hathaways and spoke with an American accent, but yeah. I found out that Brianna Edie is Australian, and and she speaks with an Australian accent. Well, in her, in some of her newest videos I've seen, she she proves of that because she is because she is Australian. Several years later, I found out that Savannah Guthrie, an anchor on Today, was born in Australia, but I don't recall listening to her speak with an Australian accent. Must have been that her. Yeah, she must have been born there where her, while her parents might have been either in the military or, or out of town or stuff like that. But, uh, but I love listening to Savannah's voice. Every time I listen to her, it makes me smile, as well as Brianna's, too. So next time I plan on saying something that, uh, that may be a fun fact or at least in information that I believe in. I will say it at that moment. Like Brianna Eady joining Matt Shively for two-time champions on Nickelodeon game shows.